Hey kids! Welcome to story time. Let's see a story about the lonely elephant. Once there was an elephant. He had no friends. So he started to walk through the forest to find new friends. Soon he meet with a monkey. Hello monkey, will you be my friend? Sorry, you are too big to be my friend. You cannot jump from tree to tree like me, so we cannot be friends. Sad, elephant walked away. Then he met with a frog. Hello frog, will you be my friend? Sorry, you are too big to be my friend. You cannot jump like me, so I cannot be your friend. Sad, elephant walked away. Sad, elephant started to walk. Then he met a rabbit. Hello rabbit, can we be friends? Sorry you cannot be my friend. You cannot run faster as I do. Sad, elephant walked away. He saw animal running across him and stopped a deer and asked why they were running. There is a tiger that scares around the animals. Everyone are running for their lives. Please leave the animals alone. But the tiger didn't listen, kept scaring the animals. Elephant then chased away the tiger and saved other animals. The animals were sorry for hurting the elephant and they wanted to become friends with the elephants. Soon all became friends and they were happy. Moral of the story. Size doesn't matter for good friendship. Bye bye. Teeny weeny. Let us see a story about the lazy grasshopper. Once there was an ant and a grasshopper, they were best friends with different personalities. The ant was hard worker. He would always collect food and built his ant hill. While Grasshopper was lazy and spent all time. Making days and night extremely cold. The grasshopper was extremely weak and hungry. It came up to Ant Hill and asked for some food. Can you please give me some food? When I worked hard, you were having fun. Now if I give you food, you would never realize the worth of hard work. The grasshopper realized its mistake and decided to work hard in upcoming days. Moral of the story. Make use of every opportunity while you have it. Let us see a story about the selfish fox. Once there was a fox and a stork. The fox was selfish and wanted to make fun of stork. So he invited the stork to dinner. Hello stork. Will you join me for dinner tonight? Sure fox. The stork was happy to be invited and reached fox's place on time. The fox invited stork in. The stork saw soups have been served in a shallow bowl. The fox started to lick the soap, but the stork couldn't drink because of its long beak. The stork understood the fox's intention and thought to teach a nice lesson to the fox. Fox, 
Thank you for inviting me for dinner. I will be so happy if you join me for dinner tomorrow. The fox agreed. Next day the fox reached the stork's place. And the dinner was served. Fox was shocked to see that the soup has been served in two narrow vases. The stork started to enjoy the soup and finished it. Fox left the place hungry, realizing its mistake. Moral of the story. Don't be selfish because it will come back to you. TV Weenie. I'm the greedy dog. Once there was a dog who was greedy and selfish. One day he was walking through the village and he saw a piece of meat. He took the piece of meat and ran away from there. He went by a lakeside, and started to eat. Suddenly he saw his reflection in the water, and thought that there is another dog with a piece of meat. He greedy dog wanted to get the other piece of meat also. So he thought to scare the other dog, and started to bark loudly. Once he opened the mouth the meat in his mouth fell into the lake. Moral of the story One who desires all, loses all. Hey kids! Welcome to story time! Once there was a tortoise and two storks who were friends, they lived near a pond. It was summer and the pond started to dry. Hey tortoise! We are planning to fly away to another pond, as summer started and the pond started to dry it is difficult to stay here. Hey folks! I love to come with you, but I can't fly. Is there any other way I can come along with you? The stork started to think and came up with a clever plan. They brought a big fat stick. Hey tortoise, we will carry you by using this stick. The only thing you have to do is hold the stick tightly with your mouth. And don't open your mouth until we reach our destination. The tortoise agreed to their plan. The storks started to fly carrying the tortoise. The tortoise was very excited as it was flying. The excited tortoise opened its mouth to speak and fell down. The moral of the story speak only if it is necessary. Please subscribe for more videos. Teeny weeny.